OK, let's uh, start the limit at infinity. What is limit at infinity? If, f, uh, if x uh, increases or decreases without bound, we say that x tends to positive infinity or negative infinity. And if the function get arbitrarily close to a number as x uh, increase, increases without bound or decreases without bound, we say that the fx has limit L. That is the limit fx as x tends to positive infinity equals L. That means fx can be arbitrarily close to L as x increases without bound. Or when x uh, gets bigger and bigger and bigger, then x can be closer and closer to L. We say that the limit of, of fx as x tends to positive infinity is L. Similarly, we can define x tends to negative infinity, the limit of fx as x tends to negative infinity equals L. That means fx can be arbitrarily close <coughs> to L as x decreases without bound. That's the definition. And uh, intuitively, we know that when x tends to positive infinite, 1 over x is 0. And the limit x tend to negative infinite, 1 over l, uh, 1 over x is 0. And by the graph of the function fx equals 1 over x is like this. When x uh, bigger and bigger and bigger, then the fx closer and closer to x equals 0, or y equals 0. And when x get smaller and smaller and smaller, the 1 over x is closed, closed to, closer and closer to x equals, uh, y equals 0. That's y equals 1 over x. And another end behavior that is for uh, e of x that is positive. And uh, limit x tends to negative infinity e of x that is 0 because e of x is, has this graph. It increase, increases without bound as x uh, get bigger and bigger. And when x uh, smaller and smaller, the function is closer and closer to y equals 0. And how to compute for some type of limit? We have some uh, method to compute uh, the limit uh, as x uh, tends to positive or negative infinity. Let's use examples to de to de uh, to show how to how to evaluate limit as x tends to 
positive or infinite, uh, positive or negative infinite. The first example is uh, related to the uh, rational function. The rational function at 3x square plus 2x minus 1 and 2x square minus 5. For x tends to infinity, the x square uh, is incre increases faster than x because its order its order is higher. So we divide both uh, both denominator and denominator by the higher highest power power uh, or the power function with uh, the highest exponent. We divide both both denominator and denominator and denominator by x square. So that is three plus uh, two over x minus one over x square, and uh, the denominator is two minus five over x square. Now x uh, two over x and uh, one over x square, five over x square. Tends to zero. This part. So the lo the denominator is three. The denominator is two. When x tends to infinity, that is uh, x plus five, x square minus x plus three. Then we divide both denominator and denominator by x squared. So the denominator is 1 over x plus 5 over x squared. The denominator is 1 minus 1 over x plus 3 over x squared. So that is 0 because denominator tends to 0. And the third one x tend to infinity and six x square minus seven x plus three. Then we divide both both denominator and denominator by x. We divide the highest term uh, in denominator. So we divide both both denominator and denominator by x. So the denominator tends to 1 plus 3 over x. That's 6x minus 7 over x over x. So the denominator tends to 1 and the denominator tends to positive infinite. So that is positive infinite. That's the method. of compare um, method of compare the order and there is another example like x tends to positive or infinite that's 2x plus 3 of 13 and uh, six, uh, 3x minus 1 that's 20 that's uh, the denominator is 5x plus 7 that's all 50, uh, 50. actually uh, the first the first term in, in the bracket that is the x is uh, the, the polynomial is of order 1 and the second term is, is one, the, the order is 1 as well and the denominator the order of, of the polynomial, polynomial in the bracket is of order 1 so after we take the exponent of 50 
the highest uh, uh, the highest order for the denominator is 50 and the highest uh, order of the denominator is 50 as well so we divide uh, both denominator and denominator by x of 50 by x of 50 as 5x plus 7 50 over x of 50 we check the x of 50 into the bracket then we check x of 30 into the first first uh, bracket and uh, check the 20 in the second bracket uh, bracket we have 2x plus 3 over x of 30 times 3x minus 1 over x of 20 that's 5x plus 7 over x that's 50 so the denominator is 2 plus 3 over x that's 30 and 3 minus 1 over x that's 20 that's 5 plus 7 over x or 50 the, so the result is 2 over 30 times 3 over 20 over 5 over 50 that's the result the method of compare the order. The second example that is uh, rationalize. Oh, uh, another method to compare compare the order. Oh, we first we got a result. So the result is if fx is equals px over qx and the result is the first if the degree of px is less than degree of qx then fx tends to zero as x tends to positive or negative infinite Second, if degree px equals the degree of qx, then fx tends to an over bn, where an, bn are leading coefficient. Leading coefficients of px and uh, qx respectively. And third one, if the degree of px less than uh, great greater than the degree of qx then fx should tend to positive or negative infinite as depend it depends on the case depends on the expression of fx, FX. that's really the result for a rational function but there's other functions which we can use the compare of order as well like there is a radical sign if x tends to positive infinite uh, square root 5x square minus 2 over x plus 3 uh, the square root the polynomial in, in the square root that it has order 2 
and the radical index is true as well. So actually, the order of the denominator is uh, order. Uh, the order is one. That is, uh, it almost is x. So because the index is two, so we take x square out. So we left x uh, five minus two over x square over x plus three. Then we take uh, take x out, outside the radical sign. It should be x times square root five minus two over x square over x plus 3. Then we divide both denominator and denominator by x. We got square root 5 minus 2 over x square. And uh, the denominator is 1 plus 3 over x. And it's square root 5. But for uh, this type of limit, we should uh, we should um, pay attention to the uh, to the direction of x, or direction of the limit limit uh, procedure. If x tends to negative infinity, five x squared minus two x plus three. That's the same function. Use the same method. We take x square out. That is five minus two over x square and x plus three. But now, if we want to take x square out outside the radical sign, it should be negative x. Actually, we can write this as square root x squared times square root 5 minus 2 over x squared over x plus 3. But if we uh, take out, we if we get rid of the radical sign for x squared, it should be negative x because x square is positive and uh, takes the radicals and uh, takes take square root is is positive as well. But x is tends to negative infinity, so x is less than zero. So negative x is positive. Five minus two over x square x plus 3. Then we divide both uh, both denominator and denominator by x. That is negative square root 5 minus 2 over x square over 1 plus 3 over x. So that is negative square root 5. We should we should pay attention to the to the direction or to the sign of x. Okay, that's the second, the second mess. Uh, actually, the same method. For compare our order, and the second method that is we should no that is rationalize. x limit x tends to positive infinity square root x square plus x minus square root x minus x because the both term are tends to infinity the same sign so uh, positive infinity minus positive infinity we cannot use the limit laws to evaluate this limit so it first uh, step is to rationalize as x square plus x minus square root x square minus x times 
square root x square plus x plus square root x square minus x. We multiply by this term, and so we have to divide by this term to have the same equality, uh, has the, sa the same expression. Rationalize. We use this uh, uh, this formula. That is a square a square plus b uh, minus b square equals a minus b times a plus b. So after we uh, take the square root plus square root plus square root, then we get the square. The, the difference uh, of square. The difference of square. This one. So after expand the bracket in the long later, we have x square plus x minus x square minus x over square root x square plus x plus square root x square minus x. Simplify the nominator, we have 2x and square root x square plus x plus square root x, plus x square minus x. Use the same method as before. We take the uh, square root x square outside so that is x times 1 plus 1 over x plus x times square root 1 minus 1 over x. That is 2x. And they has the common factor x. So we divide both denominator and denominator by x. That is 2 square root 1 plus x 1, uh, 1 over x plus square root 1 minus 1 over x. So the result is 1 because the denominator tends to 2 and the denominator tends to 2 as well. If, if, the, if the limit is in the other direction, x tends to negative infinity square root x square plus x minus square root x square minus x. This should be negative 1 because I uh, used the same, same method as before and the result is x tend to negative, negative infinity. That is 2x square root x square plus x plus square root x square minus x. So after we take the uh, square root x square outside, it should be negative x 1 plus 1 over x negative x square root 1 minus 1 over x. That's 2x. So that is a negative 1. Okay, let's rationalize. And we look for some examples regard to other uh, other function. X tend to positive infinite e of x plus e of negative x over e of x minus e of negative x. When x tend to, tends to positive infinite, e of x tends to uh, positive infinity, but e of negative x tends to zero. So we divide both sides by uh, e of x. So the re result is 1 plus e of negative 2x. 1 minus e of negative 2x because e of negative x divided by e x 
that is e the negative x times e of negative x, that e of two, uh, negative two x. That's for e. But if x tends to negative infinity, e x plus e of negative x, e x minus e of negative x. When x tends to negative infinity, the, uh, e of x tends to zero, and e of negative x tends to positive infinity. So we divide both both nominator and denominator by e of negative x, or we just uh, times uh, multiplied by e of x so that is e 2x plus 1 e of 2x minus 1 oh, that's negative that's negative infinity so x tends to negative infinite negative infinite e of 2x tends to 0 so that is negative 1 uh, that's the computation for x tends to positive or negative infinity. We should pay attention to the direction, especially if there any radical sign. Uh, 